into position. Always a satisfying moment Captain to return Dan. to your ship. Greetings. Spend so much time looking at the scans, I can see star systems orbiting in my head. Hmm? Oh, sorry. Was doing the tallies work in my head. Inventory on the station. Next supply run. Nothing yet. Still poring over the charts.
This is intriguing. A rather large amount of security for such a small place. request. Explanation deemed acceptable. Clearance granted to Crucible. Outsider will deliver 150 units of copper. Compensation will be dispensed. Tobias, stand down. We have a visitor. Reminder, deliver required material. End of conversation. This, this is incredible. For so long we hoped for any visit, and the day has finally arrived. I wish it were even better. Your arrival is truly an historic one, but many fear what it portends. The societies have closed their doors and are arguing about what to do, while the rest hide to see which way the wind blows. Franklin would know what to do. He's the oldest among us. You should talk with him. Most of us are like me, free and unaligned. But there are three societies that are oft at odds with one another. The Believers, the Pragmatists, and the Renegades. It would be wise to meet each of them. Franklin leads the Pragmatists. Crucible is a tinderbox, and any spark will set it off. We're still recovering from a deadly conflict that happened three years ago. Far fewer of us are here to greet you today because of it. Give it time, and I'm sure the others will come out. For curiosity's sake, if nothing else. This feels vaguely like one of those situations that ends with, and they were never heard from again. When your ship landed, I feared the robots would shoot you on sight. I am greatly relieved that they let you enter our community. But you come during a delicate time. Everyone will seek to use your arrival to further their own ends. No, we most certainly do not. Our relationship with them is a matter of some debate. As well you should. I am Franklin Delano Roosevelt, leader of the Pragmatist Society. It is gratifying that even after all these years, my name isn't entirely forgot. You see, I was an American president. Well, not literally, but in a sense I was. Everyone that lives here are clones. Some of us are clones of the greatest figures of history, and others, well, we don't rightly know. When we die, and some of us die quite often, we are brought back. I cannot imagine how strange this must sound to an outsider. 
you need not imagine. I can assure you, this is all exceedingly strange. Baffling, even. Is it? I wish I could illuminate you on this. But we are as ignorant of the technology which brought us into being as we are of the outside world. Now there is the question, isn't it? I do not have FDR's memory. But I know every nuance of his life and times. Well, it's as much as history records. I confess, I, I feel an undeniable affinity towards him. But no, I, I am my own man. But not all of us see it that way. I could see how confusing this may be, even frustrating. But if it's any consolation, many of us feel the same, and we live here. After decades, centuries, of trying to figure it out ourselves, there is so very much we don't know either. The robots clone us for a reason, their so-called mission. But what that is, and what we should do about it, is something the societies disagree about. Sometimes violently. It's best you meet with the other societies, and after, I promise I'll explain the pragmatists' position on matters. Well... It is one of the few concrete things we know about Crucible. If you want to truly know about the mission, the Believers will tell you all about it. In fact, it can be hard to get them to stop talking about it. After you meet with them, I'll share my position. Be careful what you wish for. Word has been sent, so the street should be full again. There is more I would talk with you about, but I would not take advantage of your ignorance. Go speak with the Monirinus and Genghis Khan. Welcome to town, stranger. Consider me part of the welcoming committee. The name's Wyatt Earp, and I'd be most pleased if you'd use one of the spare rooms during your stay. For a modest fee, of course. He was, and I try to be. I do the best I can to uphold the law, but the societies make that difficult. I expect I've had as much success restraining Genghis as the Chinese did. I do what I can. Roosevelt and I are both of the same mind on that. I'm for whatever side wants to keep the peace. It means that the pragmatists and I are often on the same side of things. But you might be surprised the number of times I've had to ask some of them to back off some nonsense. That's a generous offer. I might take you up on it. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay. And by the by, I may have access to some essentials I've picked up over the years. Happy to sell them to you. Of course.
It runs hot and cold. During usual times, it's an occasional scuffle. Maybe a black eye when an argument gets out of hand. And then a society goes on a rampage and it's tombstone all over. I hope your arrival keeps things on an even keel. A pleasure talking with you. I need to go out there. I want to see and do everything there is to be done. Your ship, she's a beauty. It travels the stars, right? Tell me, what's it like out there? Has anyone ever told you you're a poet? <laughs> My name's Amelia Earhart. When I first woke up in this place, in my head, I knew all about my namesake, her life and her accomplishments. But I also knew how to fly a starship, reactor limits, thrust acceleration vectors and everything. In my mind's eye, I can imagine flying out there, touching heaven itself. And yet, cruelly, here I sit. The facility keeps us alive, fed, and protected, but they do a terrible job of informing us of anything at all. My guess is the facility thought they might need a pilot one day, but your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> Am I that transparent? Listen, I know you owe me nothing at all, but I would do anything to get off of here. I know the societies want who knows what from you for who knows why, and I don't want to get involved in any politics. I just want, for my single self, a chance to explore. I... you won't regret it. I... thanks. Do you want to talk about anything else? No, I don't. I consider myself a most ardent admirer of hers. She feels like... family. Distant family. I like to think we both share a kindred spirit of adventure, though. She broke so many barriers in her life. I would love the same opportunity one day. I have a few choice unchristian thoughts about some of them. But I'm going to stay out of it. Listen, I'd understand you making any decision you have to regarding them. Any at all. I just hope you judge me separate. I don't wish harm on anyone. I just want to explore. Goodbye, outsider. I had hoped you would visit me. Good. Know that you stand before Queen Amanirinas of the Kush, queen of a dead kingdom on a dead world. But I earned my name, and even the sands of time cannot take it from me. Your courtesy is appreciated, even though it rings hollow. My subjects are all dust. If you don't believe me, know you are not alone. Some clones deride me behind my back. I know this, but I feel in my bones that I am a Manirinas for true, the great and the terrible to those who would oppose me. I remember things no one has told me. 
Memories of faces. Betrayers. Lovers. Allies. And enemies. And the smells. The right scent. And I close my eyes. And I can picture all of it so vividly. It aches my heart, my home, my kingdom. Have you no faith of your own? Something you hold to, even though it cannot be proven. It is the same with me. But I am certain. You speak to Amani Rinas, reborn. If your mind and heart remain open, you will see the truth of it. Once, I called upon mighty armies. However, on Crucible I still lead. Have you heard of the Believers? Have you heard of the mission? We are the ones who will take our rightful place in these settled systems to bring in a new glorious age and break the endless cycles of oppression and greed. So many scoff at the mission. Before we are reborn here, there are words all of us are told. That we are the chosen. We are meant to better ourselves. To learn, grow, and thrive. All of us represent the greatest figures in our history. Who better to lead the settled systems to a new golden age? You are skeptical. My advisors thought the same when Augustus Caesar stood unbeatable at Cush's border. I made war against the mighty Romans. I took their cities and fought them to a draw. No other king or queen can boast of that honor against that famed Roman. And that's just me. Some of the greatest lions of all ages are awaiting rebirth. What are bureaucrats, petty politicians, and lawyers against that? If we could do it ourselves, we would have, years ago. I do not care if you think my plan is insane. But what I want, what we want, is a chance to prove to the facility we are ready. When someone has achieved their potential, the facility is supposed to set us free among the stars. But the machines have been breaking more and more over the years. And no one has ever been deemed worthy. I need your help to properly fix the facility so that we can prove ourselves and claim our birthright. The facility is another place on this very planet. A place we cannot go. As much as we dream of it. Surely someone, anyone by now would have learned the lessons the facility sought to teach. No, the machines have not aged well. The crises break upon our beach, each one greater than the last. Then listen well, outsider. You must go to the facility. The robots and what drives them is not here. The facility is where they come from. Somewhere far to the east. None of us can travel there. But you can go there, please. And see if the facility can be repaired. Then report back to me. If you had a life sentence, wouldn't you do anything to be free? Change is coming. I can feel it.
Stranger! Weapons! I have seen you go read too many things, Mr. Hey, be careful not to point that thing. We are triumphant. The man from the stars. Come to see me. And you're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I guess the world out there is not so different than here. Genghis Khan, a pleasure to meet you. Manners cost me nothing. But make no mistake, I will do whatever it takes to escape this prison. I am pleased that the dangers out here are of no concern to you. You cannot be fully human if you trap yourself behind walls. <laughs> the novelty will fade. I say this from experience. So Franklin told you of us. Oh. That we're clones? Some of us think that makes us special. That the deeds of our namesakes are somehow ours. But that is blind arrogance. We are just people. Same as you. Same as anyone. None at all. It is as if I were a student of his life and times from an early age. I know so much about him. But that doesn't mean I am him. I am me. And I am content with this. I never really thought about that. Surprising indeed. Ah, but all this talk gets us nowhere. Too many of the others grovel at the feet of the damned robots, trying to play their roles in a broken game. The renegades will not submit, and one day we will be free. Prison of the mind and the body. Crucible holds out a throne and says, Obey, and it is yours. But thrones are meant to be taken, not handed to you by a machine. But it is a tantalizing lie that keeps the others in line. I do not know. Everything outside of Crucible is unknown to us. I imagine the settled systems are not so settled that a man who does not shrink from violence can't make a place for himself, though. Were it that easy, I have died a dozen deaths trying to find a way out of Crucible. You get too far, or disobey too much, then death. Crucible holds our lives in its hands. But now, the robots have made a grave mistake. You... You can go where none of us can. You hold our future in your hands. And all the societies know it. Oh yes, you can go one or two miles from Crucible, and you drop dead. I have no knowledge of medicine, but it's probably poison. It boils my blood to be subjugated like this. But too many of the clones are sheep. As long as their pens are clean and comfortable, 
They bleat their arguments. Even if you think I deserve this cage, does everyone. If you want your heartstrings tugged, talk to Amelia Earhart. Doesn't she deserve the stars she craves? You know of the facility, yes? Go there and make the machines let us leave. It is not much to ask, and it will set us free. So, you have heard from the other societies. I must confess I'm very curious what an outsider thought of them and their positions. You might be the first objectively neutral party we've ever come across. I couldn't agree more. The facility has gathered some of the most obstinate and dangerous personages throughout history. It has told them that they should lead in a golden age via whatever means they see appropriate. Setting us all loose and part of as a whole would invite disaster. We are barely fit to lead ourselves. Hmm. A tough but fair question. I must admit the case of Amelia Earhart sometimes keeps me up at night. Tis safer if the rule is strict. But if you wanted to make an exception or two, I... I could live with that. But no one from the other societies. They are all dangerous in their own way. Certainly. It is evident that the facility is decaying. It is both unsustainable and unwise for us to fix and maintain the status quo. Our community must be weaned off the machines, learn how to build, grow, and govern ourselves, allowed to raise families so we can pass our lessons to the next generation, and to die when our allotted time is finished. One day we will be worthy of going to the stars. We are just not there yet. Yes, and not to be indelicate, not for lack of trying. Are we even human in this state? We have no future, only the past. You have no idea how profoundly grateful I am to hear that. Go to the facility and see what can be done. You're the most exciting thing that's happened... well, ever. Over here! Hey, we need to talk! 
Listen, it's not safe to talk here. It's about Roosevelt. There's something you need to know. Thank you. There's a, well, a cave just outside town. No chance of us being listened in on. Please, come as quick as you can. Ideally, before you go to the facility. I'll meet you at the cave. You came. I, I just can't take a chance. These clones, they, they're they psychotic, crazy. If they find out, I'm sorry. I, I just can't take the chance. I'm sorry about that. So damn sorry. I'm not Wyatt Earp. I wish. God, how I wish I was. I was cloned off a monster. America's first serial killer. H.H. H. Holmes. Well, that is... less auspicious. I am not! I just... I just run the inn. That's all. If you go to the facility, I know you'd find out who I am. And if you let any of these bloodthirsty maniacs know, they'd kill me. But no, that wouldn't be the end. Every time my new clone would appear, death, torture, pure hell. I'm afraid it's you or me. I'm going to kill you. I just don't see a way out. I mean, no, I guess. Maybe you're right. I don't want to die. I'm... I'm gonna trust you, okay? Just don't tell anyone. This... this never happened.
Captain Dan. It is pleasant to see you. <laughs> Any adventure you can fly away from. Is, is that how this goes? Prepare for lift off. will be interested in leaving.
hope wherever you store that the smell will not be an issue. It seems local fauna has been nesting here. If you require organic compounds, now might be a good time to collect.
abilities are truly amazing. Cowards. Is that for selling later, or personal use? Do you think they have burrowed into the ground here? Or they originally came up out of it?
cannot wait to kill you. Hope you come. We succeed at that before we are discovered. Something has been here. Could be non-hostile, but best to be prepared.
There you are. You have my attention. Back to it then. See it with my own eyes, it is still hard to see. No more signs of trouble.
Spoils of victory, I suppose. They know their messy glory.
Captain Dan. Hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. We're all here because we're committed to the biggest question of all. What's out there? You're part of Constellation now. Part of our family. We do not fully understand all that is at work here. No finer group in the stars to be unraveling this mystery. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. Grab jump is ready. I love this part. These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. Human settlements throughout the galaxy could be at risk. We are not stopping. Whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity forever. This is where we belong.